You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. Hey, Why You Suck in Bed fans, it's Bruno. Ah! Hey guys, it's Bruno. Who am I here with? Hi, I'm Housewife Kelly from housewifekelly.com. Husband Sean Anderson. Cool. I just saw these two at here at the Ronnie's block party. I had to interview them. Anyway, since your website has sex without a camera, has it lost any of its excitement? No, definitely not. I mean, we our website is totally real, and whatever we do on camera is what we do off camera. So. But you get turned on more with the camera on. Oh, definitely. I love knowing the fact that people are going to be watching this all over the world. How about you? Same thing? Well, I, I, my answer to that would be a little bit different. The only thing I would say is that it hasn't lost any interest, but you kind of, you just, now you, if it starts to get really good, you want the camera there. You kind of have a hard time having a good time. You feel guilty if the camera's not on. Okay. At, least, at least that's how I feel. All right. But don't get me wrong. It's good all the time. Okay. How did you two meet? Was it with other swingers? You won't believe it. And, and and who brought up the swinging topic first? <laughs> well, we've known each other since childhood. You don't have to raise your hands, and no one can see you raise your hands on the radio. So anyway, go ahead. I got, I got all excited on this one because, you know, we've known each other since childhood, but when we officially started going out together, one of the first things that I told him was, look, I'm totally bisexual, and I absolutely need to be with women at all times throughout our relationship, and he definitely didn't object to it. Well, we started to first time we ever dated was in fifth grade. So. Really? You've yeah. known each other that long? Yeah. Well, she was in fourth, I was in fifth. So, it's been a long right. time. Very long time. Alright. Here's a topic that a lot of people ask other swingers. Like, how do you two keep from getting jealous of your of watching your partner with another person? It's just a natural instinct. To, I love it. Well, yeah, I, I understand that, but like, how do you s- sustain the jealousy of, like, you know, I'd say 95% of the people are not in this country are not or in the world are not swingers. So, like, what's that one thing that you guys hold back that lets you become swingers? You know what I mean? Like, what's that all, all one I thing? All I can say is this. I challenge any married man to picture his wife getting fucked and coming by another guy and tell me honestly that that does not turn you on. And if you say no, I don't believe you. I'm not going to answer that. that. <laughs> if you imagine that, you will be turned on, guaranteed. And let, if that's not true, then I'm just a weirdo. Okay. I, I, I think that like when you're in a really good, loving relationship and you've been together for a really long time and you want to experience um, different things, you want to go outside of the box, you kind of learn to change that jealousy into more of a sexual feeling. You, you kind of, when you're with a partner that you really trust, you can kind of like let go of yourself and just know that it's totally just about sex and that, you know, your partner's not going to, like, leave you for that person, that it's just sex. That's it. It's sex and that your partner is, you know, somebody you love. Okay. I agree. Separate. Separate? All right. Circumcised or uncircumcised or does it matter? You know, uh-huh. I love cock, so uncircumcised or circumcised, it doesn't matter to me. Okay. Just ask your preference. What's your worst swinging experience? Uh, the first one. <laughs> uh, the first time that we ever went to a swingers club, we met with a couple. The guy started to fuck around with her. I went to fuck around with his wife, and she said that she 
she didn't she wasn't she wasn't she didn't play so I took a little bit of a hissy fit started slamming doors and throwing shit around and it wasn't good that was our first time ever at a swingers party that was the only bad experience we've ever had how often do you guys go to swinger parties now oh, no you answer that one um we like to go at least once a month we go to um more like uh private VIP parties like so like you know pretty much know everybody there yeah pretty well, much there's some new ones there but yeah yeah pretty much I mean there's you know clubs that we go to but for the most part you know we get um exclusively invited to house parties that's awesome well anyway uh I have to stop just because these clips go long and the guys get mad when I email them but anyway do you have anything to uh, plug you want to promote anything absolutely I just want to tell everybody out there to go and check out my website housewifekelly.com and also follow me on twitter at housewifekelly awesome thank you guys All right. thank you I can use this yes you can <laughs> name uh, Bobby married single married married cool Anyway, uh, what color, do you think the hair color has something to do with how good a girl would be in bed? Like a woman's hair color? Uh, no, not necessarily, but it's definitely intriguing, the different colors. Like what color you think would be great that you never had? Well, I've had all the hair colors, but I think it's more, uh, at this point, it would be Asian, because I haven't done the Asian thing. I was going to go by nationality. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. I was thinking like redheads or something like that. Well, I, I had a redhead, and she was fucking great, but her fucking pussy smelled. I feel like redheads, I, I think it, it might be urban myth, but I think it's somewhat true that redheads have a smelly puss. Okay, well, uh, okay, that's cool. Now, uh, where you work, have you ever pleasured yourself at work? At work? Uh... Well, I work out of the house, so definitely. Oh, so you have? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. As often as possible. Have you ever done anything, to, any any kind of favor to get some kind of sexual return? Like, have you ever, like, like maybe believe, say, a girl said, listen, if you change my oil, I'll fucking blow you or anything like that. Have you ever done any kind of sexual, anything like, that would give you any kind of sexual favor? No, because it's the opposite in my house. My wife fucking will have sex with me anytime I want to. So it's like, if anything, she's the one trying to get a foot tickle or something like that. Some bullshit like that. She's trying to get a foot tickle from you? Yeah, totally. And me, I fucking, I, I don't know, I could care less. If we fuck, we fuck. And if we don't, we don't. Okay, now how long have you been married? I've been married for... Uh, it's almost seven years, but we've been together, practically married for 14. Oh, okay. Well, cool. That's a long time. Now, since you've been married and since you've been going out, has the amount of blowjobs that you received, have they gone up, have they gone down, or have they maintained? They've gone down, but i got to say it's my bad because my wife would suck my dick as often as I would let her. But the thing is, is I've watched two home births happen. I've watched both of my daughters come out of my wife's badge. And I'm not interested in going down on her. I used to eat her pussy all the time, but after seeing her fucking clam blow up twice, I just won't go down there. So I've told her she'd have to suck my dick if I don't have to eat her pussy. What? Okay, okay. Uh, well, anyway, uh, thank you. <laughs> you know, you know now, now it's like cleaning a hamster cage. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, thanks for your time. Oh. I love Amazon.com. How much do you love Amazon? I love it. <laughs> Can you like orgasm grunt it? I buy all my Christmas gifts. No, you, you haven't. All my books, yeah. all my DVDs, all my CDs, all my birthday presents, Amazon.com. Grunt it. Toys. Do it sexy. Grocery, groceries. Groceries. <laughs> groceries. Say it sexy. Amazon.com. Oh, God, I'm ready to buy. See, see, if you had gone to Amazon, John, you would not have gotten picked up. Mm. That gay man. That yeah, you true. went to Barnes & Noble. If, right. if you had Why gone to Amazon for your graphic novel. Could have gone to ah! What a dumbass I is. There you go. A great way to support Riotcast and the Why You Suck in Bed podcast is to follow the link 
at why you suck in bed on riotcast.com there's a banner for Amazon. If you click on that and then shop on Amazon, we will get a small percentage of your overall purchase and that will help us to keep the show going. So I don't have to live in a two-story refrigerator box. (laughs) (laughs) Amazon has some great pricing options for electronics, apparel, computers, books, DVDs, graphic novels, groceries, and more. Graphic Mm novels. I am never going to a store again to buy a graphic novel. Unless you want to get picked up by homosexuals. (laughs) (laughs) Which I'm not that desperate yet. There you go. So go to the Why You Suck in Bed page at riotcast.com and click on the Amazon button before shopping. So when you think shopping, think why you suck in bed and go Amazon. Holler. John Toll. Married, single? Married. Married. Obviously, you're married. Uh, do you masturbate a lot? Every day. Every day? Without you, fail. Every day without fail. It, like, it, sometimes it's a, it's a morning thing, because she's at work, so I'm always a le- I can get a couple off before like lunch. Have you ever like jerked off so much that you can't have sex with your wife? Uh, you know what? I've, I've jerked off so much that I wasn't able to come a second time, uh-huh. and so every time I can't come twice, then she knows that I've been jerking, and she usually asks. Did she get pissed? No, not at all. She's a weirdo, so. She's a weirdo? Yeah, total weirdo. <laughs> Who's your go-to female celebrity? It has to be a celebrity, not a porn star. Who's your go-to female celebrity? And if if there's anyone in particular, what, like what scene? If there's a scene of a movie or something. It could be or a, a picture or whatever. It has to be a celebrity, not a porn star. You remember in that scene in Every Lo- Everyone Loves Raymond where, where Patty Heaton, who played the wife, was, was she, had, she was like, she had PMS? Right, so she was all angry and yelling and shit. I think she's hot, uh-huh. and the fact that she was like irate and shit, I kind of use that as a double and like go after that because in a way she's like mom fuckable hot, but at the same time fuck that bitch at the same time. So it's like a hate thing. Wow, <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. it's a little weird. You know, I mean, a lot of people. You know, all right, I'll throw out Lonnie Anderson and Bailey Quarters from WKRP. You want to go old school? <laughs> you know what? I, you know what? When I when I set my personal record for jerking off in a day, which is now at thirteen. All right. Wow. I, yeah, it was hard. Towards the end of the day, I you know I stayed home sick from school and bowled off thirteen. The last one I did it to. Uh, How old were you? I was. I would have been. I would have been a freshman in high school, I guess, oh, when I went for the record. Oh, right. You know what I mean. So when I, when I hit that, th- I've never been able to be thirteen. But my go-to move uh, back. Um, I think Oprah had a good guess. She has some nice legs, and they kind of used that. It took a while though. <laughs> Not. Oh, I didn't jerk off the Oprah. I jerked off the were guests. Oh, to guests. Who had nice legs. <laughs> I don't know what they were, they were talking about. Some women bullshit. Uh, Back in the day, did you have to like rent pornos, like VHS tapes, and sneak them into your room and shit? You know, our, our move was you could uh, you could rent the movie Caligula, which was made by uh, it was made by Penthouse, and it was technically like uh, an X movie, but but they didn't know. You know, it was in the R section. Yeah. It was like you had to go to the R section where it was like you could get the Sports Illustrated tape, or you could get like you know one of the Playboy things, or you oh. could get Caligula. We always got that. And my parents was like, oh, I rented the thing again. It's another jerk off session. But I usually I was like my go to thing because I'm, I'm old. You know what I mean? We didn't have the internet when I was a kid. So it was like porn mags hit under the bed. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, that's the, And now everything's on the iPad. You must love the fucking iPad and streaming. I, I, I do. Uh, however, you know, you, you know you get busted when they're like, why are you taking your iPad to the bathroom? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going on Twitter. Yeah, of course. I got I to live tweet this dump. <laughs> Follow me at John Toll. Anyways. <laughs> That's so awesome. Uh, fuck, I just had a question. You fucking made me laugh because of the whole thing. Um, fuck, what the hell was I just about to ask you? Oh, I don't even know, dude. Was it about jerking off? I feel like this whole thing's about the, about about the, about the Jack move. Yeah, it was about it was about jerking off. Actually, was your whole show's about jerking off? Is this it? No, but it's one uh, one big topic. That you don't ask married guys sex questions. Is that the thing? Like people don't want to hear about you know. All right, since you're married, has the amount of blowjobs have you gotten? Have they gone up or have they gone down? My my wife is phenomenal, and it has gone up actually. But it was and it was already it was already a ton to start with, and as we've gotten married, it's it's even better. Do you have to ask for a blowjob? Never have to ask. Like at if all. You, if you ever, ha- if you, I have to ask for her not to sometimes. 
<laughs> for real, yeah. Because wow. I'm like, and I'm like, you know, I, I, come I just off. jerked off. No, no, well, that or like, oh, you know, I, I come off stage, I come home from a club, mm-hmm. you know, it's one in the morning, and I've got sweat dick. I don't, you know what I mean? Let, let me, let me take a shower. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. On it. So wow. what are you gonna do? Um, fuck. Penis. <laughs> oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, you can drive by penis shot. <laughs> Um, do you think that if a guy has to ask a woman for a blowjob, it's wrong? You know, it, it's it's not wrong, and, and, and if you if you want to get blown and you have that kind of relationship, you should be able to ask without any repercussions. You should also be able to ask without having to give something in return. I know people are like, oh, all right, well, we can go to the mall tomorrow, or we'll go to brunch as long as you'll do that. You know, guys who have to offer up, like, yeah. I'll give you this if you give me this. That that If your marriage at that point, then fuck yourself. It's over. Well, uh, how do you think a guy would feel if they had to, had to ask your wife for a blowjob and they say no? You think that would make a guy feel very low, like low self-esteem? No, because because you know what? If, if that's happening to you, then you did a horrible job picking your wife out in the first place. You know what I mean? Unless she did the total you know, broad bait and switch. Mm-hmm. For the most part, you know if a girl is down for fucking and blowing you, that's who she is at the root of her being. You're going to find that out when you're dating her. And if your girl isn't that, then don't marry her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like You're not going to drag race in a fucking Taurus, okay? <laughs> so if you're a drag racer, get a fucking fast car. Car, all right. If you just like to see the scenery, get a bike. Uh, right on. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for this interview because I know they get mad when I email long fucking clips. How dare! But anyway, uh, Who are they? No, I'm just kidding. This is John Toll, guys. He's on the the Block Party tour, and uh, you'll be hearing more from him because I'm, I'm always around <laughs> him. <laughs> So I'll, uh, give me some feedback and hit him up on uh, at John Toll. At John Toll, J O H N T O L E on Twitter. Jokes all day. And if you have any questions for him or me, you can hit me up. I'm at C B E Bruno on Twitter. All right, thanks guys. Oh. Wait, can I get your name? Lisa. Lisa, married, single. Engaged. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Now, is there any kind of like hair color that a guy would have that you think you think a hair color on a guy determines how good he is going to be in bed? Oh, it, like if he has a certain hair color. Like blonde, he's redhead, I'm black hair. Dark hair to me seems like they'd be good in that for some reason. You never had a black, dark haired guy? I have. Okay. Now, um, I know where you work at, and where are we right now? <laughs> Just tell me what it is. Don't say Cheaters. the name of the player. All right. Anyway, uh, yeah, guys, I'm doing a block party, and I happened to run into like a. Is this a go-go bar or strip club? Go-go. Go-go. Anyway, totally random, guys. Believe me. Anyway, I'm about to say, have you ever pleasured yourself at work? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Do you pleasure yourself at home? Of course. How often do you do it? Be honest with me. A couple times a month. Tom. I'm never going to see you again. A couple times a month, top. Maybe, yeah. Now, do you use fingers? Do you use like a, a vibrator dildo? I don't know if I can. Okay. Just no. I'm, I'm never going to see you again. No one knows who you are. Vibrator. I've heard it all. Trust me. Vibrator. Vibrator. Now, but do you use your fingers too? Not really. Too much work. So you use a vibrator. Yeah. Like a rubber kind of vibrator, metal, blah blah. blah. Uh-huh. Now, do you have to like watch porn to do it or? You have to think about like a past uh, sexual experience. Nothing. I don't need to think about anything. It takes me half a minute. Now, do you ever uh, use your vibrator while you're driving? <laughs> no. No? Why? You think it's an accident? <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> now, uh, have you ever done any kind of sexual favor to get something in return? Like, have you, have you ever told a guy, like, listen, I'll uh, change, if you change my oil, I'll blow you or anything like that? <laughs> no, thankfully, I am. Um, What's that word I'm looking for? Uber? I make money that I can pay for those things. Okay, well, okay, but you never, you never did it. No, I'm not a hooker, but like, no, like I'm talking about like you're, if you were dating a guy and you said, listen. No, okay. Absolutely not. Now, you're in, you said you're engaged, right? Okay. Now, do you blow your guy? Yeah. How often? Well, be honest. All be the honest. time. All right. All Couple the time. times a week. Now, when you get married, you think it's going to go down? Absolutely. Why? Oh, no. Will it go? Oh, I thought you Absolutely. said will Absolutely. Like, Don't fucking oh, lie. I thought you said, will I still go down? Of course. No, no. no I want to keep that up. I'm very, you know. Giving. Yes. Do you, 
Why do you think women stop giving? Uh, I don't know, and I hear that all the time, and I hope it's not true because I always want him. Well, this is like the number one topic that guys email me about, like why when they get married do they go down? No, that boggles my mind. I'm dude, very aggressive. So. Dudes, dudes quit scrubbing their balls. You know, uh, they get compla- they get complacent. Well, if that's the case, then that's a good reason. But other than that, no. Now, do you watch porn? Yeah. Guy on girl porn, girl girl porn, guy on guy porn. No, nothing crazy. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but just standard. Now, have, have you ever gone out with a guy that's eating his own cum or tastes his own cum? That makes me want to vomit. No offense to anybody out there that's into that. that I just don't understand. No guy ever wanted it spit back in his mouth? No. Okay, well, I'm just asking. No. Okay, well, anyway, uh... uh have you ever hooked up with somebody, uh, like, do you do social media, like Facebook, Twitter, blah, blah, blah? No. You don't? No. Uh, Very old-fashioned. Okay. Well, anyway, thank you for your time. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Eli. Awesome. Married, single? I'm married. Married. Since you've been married, the number one question I get from guys is oral sex. Has the amount of blowjobs that your wife's given you, has it gone up or has it gone down or has it maintained? It's maintained at a pretty low level. <laughs> she never got them to begin with. I did, but it's not that much. So when you got married, they went down? Um, I would say it pretty much stayed the same. Uh, I still get them. All right. But you enjoy them? Oh, I love them. Did you ever, do you have to ask her? Do you feel it's bad if you ask her for one? No, not at all. Do you ever ask her for one? I do. Did she say no? Never. Well, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> But she usually says yes. Do you feel like shit when she says no? No, I don't. Did she ever try to like say, "Listen, I won't blow you, but I'll give you a hand job or something"? Or... No, no. We've been married. We've been together a long time, so she's pretty much like she's either down for something or she's not. All right. She'll say whack off if you want to. I don't care. What nationality have you never had sex with that you would love to have? Sex with? Um, I've never hooked up with a black girl. I had a chance once and I blew it. Uh, she wanted to hook up and she was real hot and I didn't. I don't even know why. I think I was just a young idiot. But uh, never had, I've actually never had sex with a black girl. I've never had sex with an Asian girl. It's on your bucket list? <laughs> it is on my bucket list. <laughs> no. My fuck it list. Uh, I don't even know where you work, but do you have you ever pleasured yourself at work? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You work at home? <laughs> I do. <laughs> but I have pleasured myself at jobs I've had many times. Now, when you uh, masturbate, do you use uh, past sexual experiences, or do you use, like, you need visual simulation? I'm a visual simulation guy, but I definitely, in a pinch, can use a past sexual, the spank bank. Awesome. Um, you think your wife masturbates? Oh, I know she does. She, does she have a toy? She does. You get, would you get offended if she used it and didn't have sex with you that night? No. And she chose her toy over you? No, because she never would. She always wants to have sex. I'm she has, she has, a, she has a stronger sex drive than I do. Awesome. It's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, bizarre situation. But awesome, yeah. that's fucking awesome. Yeah. It's not even so much she has a, a stronger sex drive than I do. It's as much that she has an ability to stay awake later than I do. <laughs> have, have you ever uh, shot a sex video? No, I haven't. You think that would you ever ask your wife to do a sex video? Um, I not for public, you know, display. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not interested in that. I don't want to see myself do that. That's pretty sick. If someone offered you a hundred dollars to do a webcam show every day, once a day, where you masturbate, but no one ever found out who you, who you were, would you do it? A hundred dollars a day. Hundred dollars a day. No, dude, put it this way. Hundred no, hundred dollars a day. I even I'd fucking do it. Hundred dollars a week. You, no one, will, no one would ever find out who you were, but you still have to like jerk off in front of a webcam. Um, I might. I you might. might. Prob- that's a, that seems like a pretty lowball figure, though. Well, that's what I'm saying. Everybody jerks off. It's logistically, like, it seems like oh, I gotta go fucking get in front of this yeah, webcam. But, but honestly, who the fuck wants to watch a guy jerk off? <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for your time. You're welcome for my time. Can I use this? What's up? Can I use this on the air? You can use this on the air. Awesome. I've been thinking about getting into video games. Why? Uh, and losing the Indian girl there's, and not having, you know, much sex. There's a lot of dark, dark games that you can play where you can just kill people. And I like to kill people. <laughs> and I get in trouble for it. Yeah, that would be cool. What yeah. should I do? What should I do? Well, did you try Max Payne 3, Gross Recon, or the new Special Ops game? 
I don't know what you're talking Special about. Special ops, you can just uh, shoot how, people in the face. How do I yeah. do this? How do I do this? What do I do? Well, have you tried Gamefly.com? Gamefly. No, but do I've it. heard of them because they're our new sponsor. Right? They have over 8,000 video games available for PlayStation, Xbox, Wii, and now your PC. Shit's the bomb.com, son. Do it. Awesome. It really is. Awesome. And you can. It's just like a Netflix. Yeah. You rent a game. Okay. And then you send it back, and then yeah. you get a new game. But you can keep that game like as long as you want. Yeah. So if you like the game, you play the shit out of it. If you don't, you send the shit back and oh, you get a TP's new one. TP is going to be killing a lot of people. Do you know how much money you can save, too? Because those games are a lot of money. A lot of times you buy a game and it sucks balls and then you're stuck with it. Yeah. Here, yeah. it sucks. You send it back and you send get it a back. new one. Oh, that's awesome. And why You Suck in Bed listeners get a free 15-day two-disc offer, a twenty two ninety five value. If you give it a try... You like it, you keep it. It's a free 15-day two-disc trial. Uh, free is for me. Mm-hmm. So not only do you get hooked up, mm-hmm. but then we get hooked up. That's right. Oh. You go to the Why You Suck in Bed page, riotcast.com. You click on the Gamefly banner, or you can go to www.gamefly.com forward slash Why You Suck in Bed. Actually, I'm wrong. Not Why You Suck in Bed. Just suck. S U C K. How do you spell that? You spell that? <laughs> For a special offer to our listeners only. So again, it's gamefly.com forward slash suck. 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 And you can play all the games you want. <laughs> What's your name? Mad Dog Matter. How are you liking the block party tour? It's the greatest thing that happened in my life. And where the fuck are we right now? Orion Festival, Atlantic City, New Jersey. We're in the goddamn media tent. We're being treated like kings. Shoes, hand jobs from Asian girls. That hasn't come yet, but it'll happen. Three bottles of water and Red Bull. Right on. Beers for the people who are falling back off the wagon. All the good shit. <laughs> Great fucking music, too. Great we're, music. We're, Mexican food that's made by uh, probably someone who's not Mexican. Yeah. East Coast. East Coast. <laughs> but we get through it, baby. We're here supporting Shuli. He's about to perform soon. He's getting interviewed right now. we got some time to kill. Yes. All right. I'm not supporting him. I'm actually going to attack him on stage because my hero in life was Tanya Harding. And that's how you take care. That's how you become number one. That's how you move up. You just hit him, shank him in the knee with a with a crowbar. Before we get to these questions, it's true that somebody did attack, try to attack you on stage Friday night. Friday night in uh, Carlstead, New Jersey. A couple. All right, I'm in New Jersey right now, so I probably should say this. But I'm saying, all right, I love New Jersey. I used to live in New Jersey. I have roommates who I live with in New York City from New Jersey. I've dated half the female population in New Jersey. All the good stuff. Um, they wonder why they get a reputation. Because you go there and they won't let you work. I'm, I was killing, and a guy threatened me. Charged the stage, stopped. I called him out on his shit. He charged again. Like the show was going good in this ha- only in New Jersey. <laughs> and when he gets thrown out, he goes, "I would like to pay my bill." Why did you charge the guy? He sucked. Really? No, he was actually good. I don't know why I did it. <laughs> Jersey, what's the matter with you? <laughs> All right, now this is in a comedy. Yes. Podcast, so I'm gonna start asking some questions. Yeah, you, you spend a lot of time on the road, right? Yes. All right. Now, obviously, those nights that you don't kill and you go home, go to the, the hotel room alone. I'm sure you beat off. Now, do you beat off to uh, uh, past memories, or do you use like visual stimulation? Like, do you use like uh, your phone or anything like that? Skank. Uh, you got to use the uh, spank bank, man. I think that's the way to do it. Um, I can only watch porn on my phone now. I do it once a month. And uh, that's about all I do with it. I, I try quit jerking off, you know, whacking off. I cut it out of my life. I did it for the first time in two weeks the other day. And I cut out porn to like once a month. Yeah, and I do it left like, like, what are you trying to gain? What are you trying to gain out of stopping? Here, let's be honest. Go I ahead. have what they call delayed ejaculation. <laughs> Which is wonderful initially because you can bang for an hour, but if you can't come, which is a diff- it's difficult for me to come uh, with a partner, uh, then the girl starts thinking that she's broken, and then I start thinking uh, I must be fucking Hoto or something, and boom, and everyone gets miserable. But uh, I read up if you quit jerking off, and if you do jerk off, you use your left hand, which I've done. The other day I came like a jackrabbit, three minutes. 
It's great. Wow. Which is good. I had all these years. But I can have a good year or two now where I just pop quick. It's okay. I've had a, a, enough marathon for a while. If I can just pop, everyone leaves happy. Great. So you're not quite, So you have, you're quitting basically for physical reasons. Yeah, because you get so... I hate to sound like a casual masturbator, but I had many years where girls wouldn't even look at me, and you're just stuck whacking the packer all the time, and you get such a good... You get that kung fu grip that Bradley Knoll was talking about in Sublime, and you get... To, and then when you're banging a pussy, there's a great chance that it doesn't feel the same, so you got to cut out the whacking. Now, have you have you ever... When, I'm uh, getting, you didn't think it'd get this serious, did you? There, no, this is fucking... This is what... Uh, I, 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 motherfucker, I'm Portuguese. But anyway... Uh, have you ever like when you so if when you sleep with a girl and, yes. and it happens to you your delayed ejaculation like how how do you feel like do you feel dejected by it or you don't give a fuck because you're never gonna see him well no I here's the thing I don't care okay. I got used to this earlier in life you know years ago where then you know but well, you just jerk off in their mouth yeah, okay. and it gets to the point where I get so I also have anxiety I know that shocks you that I'm anxious yeah. and I have all this nonsense. So that's a part of it as well. So it's hard for me to relax. I'm thinking too much about her and all that. But I get comfortable enough with some girls, and then it, it works out. Wow. But a lot of times I would just have to fucking squirt it myself in their mouth and hope they're a trooper. And then, but they sometimes then go, "Well, my, I couldn't do it myself." They feel rejected. The next time you bang, you can tell there's something wrong with her emotionally when you're having sex. And then you get in your head. It becomes a fucking mess. That sucks. <laughs> This is pretty good, actually. I open up. This now, is the best thing that ever happened. I fucking, so, be honest. Do you think that uh, by you jerking off into a girl's mouth, do you think that a lot of girls would be like, uh, feel like that's disrespectful, or you think it's dirt and you they fucking turn you on? To. They They want you to. I mean, they, they're gonna if, when they're sucking you off, you're gonna shoot in their mouth anyway. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. Okay. So, so they, they're kind of. Right, so, so I'm so, giving say give you the head tap. Well, yeah. So what you're doing now? Yeah, but most of the girls I know now, girls have caught the memo. <laughs> do you get offended if they fucking uh, spit? Oh, you don't give a fuck. Uh, you did your I, job. It really shouldn't matter either way, but for some reason we're conditioned them through the movies to really like it when they swallow. But now, I, I was with this girl from Belgium a few weeks ago. She that doesn't go and wash her mouth. Now we're in a hotel room, and I'm creeped the fuck out because now it's 20 minutes later and she wants to kiss. And you're kind of like, but you kind of have to. She swallowed your load. But then you're like, oh my God, what if I get friendly fire? But then you go, well, it's my friendly fire. But then you still go, it's friendly fire, man. I don't need it's, that. It's your own. It came from you. Oh, but it's still disgusting. Well, uh, do you think it's, uh, if, if a girl, have you, have you ever like fucked a girl straight in the ass right away, first time ever? Never, never banged like, anal. Never done it. Never, never done, done anal? What, you just don't want to try it? You think it's disgusting? <sighs> it's one of those things, that I'm sure it's all right. It's one of those things I like to watch in the movies, but I don't necessarily need to do. I might get there one day. I tried, I got really into uh, watching analingus. Uh, particularly like when the girls, girl on girl, when a girl licks it, a girl's pie hole, her asshole. And I like that. And then the few times I've tried, I'm very, like, real, oh, the, this will register. I'm yeah. at, doing visuals. And an, uh, I have trouble. Audio. Yeah, I, yeah. I kind of like, eh, kind of half a half. Guys, this is mad. By the way, this is Mad Dog. And this is how he is all the fucking time. Just too much. He came to the block party tour and he fucking goes up on stage, basically hits you in the mouth of this fucking comedy. I'm over Gets standing ovations. And he's ba you're basically, technically, the opener, right? It's Techni my role technically. Now. But what? you fucking like that. You relish it. Well, I get angstful before. I mean, look, now all right, the lineup is really now coming to shape. Yeah. We got Eli technically opening him, the cold open. He goes, he sings 10 minutes of songs, everyone has a guitar. Then JD comes out, a minute of banter brings out Ronnie. Uh, the 10 minutes of banter, who knows? But no real comedy. Like Then I come out, and it's my job to set the tone of, we're going to be performing comedy. If I get a heckler, i got to hit him in the mouth. Like I said, I'm Wolverine. This is if we're the X-Men, I'm Wolverine. Ronnie is Professor X. <laughs> JD fuck? Banshee, no. <laughs> no. He kinda does He's Cyclops, like man. No. Truly Cyclops. Cyclops. <laughs> but not a dick. No. Um Sequoia is Magneto. <laughs> okay. Or Sabretooth. You got the hair. Oh. <laughs> hey, uh, since you've been on the tour, how many times have you gotten laid? On the road. <laughs> Late, I think, only once. Blowjob. Bunch of makeout sessions. Numbers and that. You know, I was on a cold streak up to last night. For like four gigs in a row. I didn't get any hookup in Toronto. 
And San Fran, which I thought was going to be the Rosetta Stone, was going to be the fucking... Oh, that's not a good analogy, Rosetta Stone. It's going to teach me a language. All right. I thought that was going to be the Ark of the Covenant. And nothing. Sacramento ended up having hotter chicks and cooler chicks. Who would have thought shittier town? San Francisco in general, though, hotter chick. I mean, like... You walk there, every girl has a sleeve of tattoos and a better record collection than you. It's really awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Great analogy. That's it. I mean, that's the dopeness. The, it, the whole town of San Francisco is like a clean Lower East Side, which is awesome. But Sacramento's so shitty, I guess people have to be, co- like, in a sense, cooler. By the way, uh, where, where can the people follow you on Twitter? What kind? No, where can oh, people follow you? At Mad Dog Matter. Follow this fucking guy. I, I fucking love him on the oh, tour. Yeah, I seen him oh, uh, do one show in Connecticut. That I called Sequoia that night. I said, "You got to put him on the bill. Yeah, he's fucking, that, he's fucking awesome." But anyway, thanks a for, lot. If you guys have any questions for him or me, hit us up on Twitter. All right, or, uh, or with delayed ejaculation or any of that. Uh, I'm here for you, people. I'm yeah. here to help people. If, gone if through you, this shit. If you, I'm gonna be. Have, I have access to this guy a lot. So if you guys have any questions for him, Maria, hit me up. All right. Thanks, guys. You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Riotcast Network. Riotcast.com. <laughs> 